Ask the Gardener. Well, he is here <laughs> and he is ready to answer your questions about crepe myrtles. Chris H. Olson here this morning and we are talking about crepe myrtles. And I have a question before yeah. we start. C-R-E-P-E -E or C-R-A-P-E? It can go either way. Okay. It can either go C-R-A-P-E -C or mm -hmm. C-R-E-P-E. -E. Okay. So either way, you're not wrong. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we have a lot of these in Florida, and but a lot of them here in Arkansas. Well, of course, they are a southern plant. They mm -hmm. usually grow in zones from 6 to 10. Okay. So, so sometimes you can see them in zones 5, sometimes zones 4, and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But most cases, they're going to get winter damage because they are a true warm season sure, plant. Sure, yeah. Now, the cool thing about crepe myrtle, is when we think of them, we usually think of big, huge trees. Yeah. Well, there's so many varieties that are dwarf. Mm -hmm. Look at this one right here. This only gets maybe three foot tall by three foot wide. I don't think I've ever wide. seen one in a pot. I've always seen the oh, trees. Yeah. And yeah. it gets covered with color, of course. They usually bloom from July through September, mm -hmm. sometimes longer, sometimes a little bit earlier, depending upon our weather. But there's also varieties like this Delta Jazz, which has dark foliage. Mm -hmm. And when it does bloom, it's a watermelon red, but it gets the dark foliage. It's a great color Ooh. contrast. So it's not just about the flowers, it can be about the foliage. Okay. Then you gotta think, where do you plant crepe myrtles? Yeah. I've seen a lot of them in the shade, and a lot of people always uh, email me, why is my crepe myrtle blooming? Because they need six hours of sunshine to really bloom their best. Okay, so they don't need to be in full sun? Oh, they, they need to be in full they sun. They do need to full, full now, sun. No, they can grow in semi-shade, but they okay. won't bloom very much. Gotcha, so the more, okay. So the hotter it is, the better it is for them. And then don't forget, when you buy your crepe myrtle, there's a few things you wanna do. You wanna make sure you always use a root stimulator, okay. which uh, is a hormone and it helps heal the roots when you plant it, helps it really grow much quicker. I always fertilize mine. You can fertilize them with any all-purpose fertilizer, mm -hmm. but you do something in high phosphorus. That is the blooming high power. High phosphorus, okay. And that will do it. Now, we do have a major disease which is affecting our crepe myrtles throughout the south, and it's called crepe myrtle scale. So if you're around town or maybe at your own home mm -hmm. and your tree is turning black and it's dropping Ooh. this black soot. It's because of that disease. It's the, it's the insect. It secretes a glue, gooey substance because it's sucking the juices of the tree. Then other insects feed on that oh, and then okay. mold grows so you can either you can use a great product this one's by bear this is called insect disease and mite control and this really works you water it in around it mm -hmm. um, and so it sucks it in and it takes care of the scale or hire a professional commercial company to take care of it but you do want to take care of it I've seen some that are just very kind of tall and skinny and kind of arch over and then some that are huge so does all, it matter how you well, it's all different varieties okay. some are more upright you have the natural Natchez crepe myrtle, which is white with beautiful paper bark, mm -hmm. but it's weepy. So you got to make sure because the weepy ones take up a lot of space. Okay, good to know on crepe myrtles, however you spell it, they're all beautiful. <laughs> Whatever. Chris is back with us in just a couple minutes. You're watching THV 11 this morning. We are back in just a couple minutes as well.